For a sincere gate aspirant, every month is important. Every week, every day is important. But the month of April has a specific significance in the preparation. Especially for those who are in college. Because in the month of April, there are generally end semester exams conducted. Right? And during the exam, the preparation takes a back seat. For many of the students, they don't do full-fledged preparation during their semester exams. And once the exams are over, they go into a relaxed mode. Right? They don't want to study for next one week, 10 days. And they think, Chalo, let's push it off and let's start from May. Right? This is the situation for many aspirants. In this video, I am going to address this concern and make you aware that why this is not the time to relax. Hello everyone, welcome to Exergic. My name is Chandresh Kumar Mahajan and I am the founder and chief educator at Exergic. As I told you, in the month of April, many college students and in general many aspirants do not enter into the full-fledged preparation mode. Why? Because they think firstly that semester exams are going on, gate we will see next month or after 10 days, after 15 days, not right now. And secondly, they think that there are still 10 months for gate, right? You are in the month of April. Gate is in Feb 2023. So still there are 10 months in gate. Let's start from next month. Kya farak pad jayega? Rather than 10, we will start from 9 months. Right? That's what you feel. That's what many aspirants feel. But let me correct some of the calculation here. And let me give you a reminder. You don't actually have entire 10 months firstly to wrap up your syllabus. Right? To finish off your preparation. You are not going to do the preparation till the last day. Right? You have to wrap up your preparation one month, two months, three months before gate, right? Average two months before gate, you have to wrap up your preparation. So actually you have less than 10 months for gate. Approximately eight effective months are left with you. If you are planning to prepare for gate 2023, right? Point number one. Point number two, you have to start the preparation. You have to prepare for gate even when you have college semester exams going on. Why? Array, in the last year, suppose you are in, uh, you are going to enter the final year, you are right now in pre-final year or third year. So in the fourth year also, there will be mid-semester exams conducted, end semester exams conducted, right? So in fact, uh, I was talking to one in one of the interviews with uh, Gate Toppers, I think it was Kapil, Kapil's interview, All India Rank 93, I think. So he is also exergic video course student. So for him, due to COVID and all, his exam, semester exam got, got postponed and just one day before gate, he was having his semester exams. Can you imagine the situation? So what I am trying to tell you is that semester exams is something that you have to learn to manage. You cannot say that array semester exams are going on, I won't prepare for gate. Or semester exams are going on, leave semester exams. I am going to score zero marks. I am barely going to pass. I will just do gate. Both the directions are wrong because ultimately you need at least some aggregate percentage in your college also. Na? After gate, you have to appear for different uh, interviews, PSUs. You need a definite minimum number also. So you have to balance both of them. And that's why it's very important and crucial that you cannot totally keep gate aside because it is something that you have to face again and again, right? You are going to have semester exams in next uh, few months again and again. So you have to learn to manage your semester exams. You have to learn to manage your gate preparation with semester exams. So as I keep telling you that keep gate your priority, your number one priority is gate. That should be clear to you. Why? So that you don't push aside gate. You don't think yaar, gate we'll see later on. Yaar. Let's focus on college semester. Gate baad mein dekhte hai. This should never happen. That is why it's important for you to realize that gate should be your number one priority. What you can do during this time? I have already shared with you. I will keep sharing with you. But the point is that right now don't delay your preparation due to semester exams. You have to learn to manage semester exams. Right now you are least loaded 
stress is least because still you have some time for gate this is the best time in which you can learn to manage gate preparation and semester exams getting the point so this month is extremely important and even when semester exams are over many students what they do they think let's relax thoda time let's relax for one week 10 days uske baad we'll start the preparation ultimately april is wasted this is very wrong as i told you don't think you have 10 months left effectively 8 months left if you waste april also 7 months left only barely half a year if 7 months are left yani just more than half a year so please don't think that there is still one year right it's psychological 10 number is psychological agar dekhoge aap it's closer to 12 so it gives you a feel ki abhi ek saal bacha hai it gives you a feel that there is still one year left but actually you have effectively just one or two months more than half year so this is the time to wake up this is the time to take action and start your gate 2023 preparation another thing that you should realize about any competitive exam about any competition whether it is an exam or not whether it is sports competition or maybe some competition between two different nations two different teams any sort of competition that they are relative they are not absolute they are relative you have to be better than the others that's the that's the common funda behind the competition rather it's my theory my own personal theory that not only competition but many things in life in life i am telling not only in exam in life many things for many people are relative only happiness for example take happiness very few people very few people and i keep giving this example to uh, my students uh, to exergic students in the webinars that very few people you will find in life they are happy with the ceiling fan with the fan that is rotating above have you ever seen anyone praising ki are i have a fan are it rotates and gives air just press the button and air starts coming right wind slide wind start coming right have you ever seen anyone doing that no right why why is that because it's relative 50 years ago 50 years ago 100 years ago only kings could have afford this luxury keval rajaon ke paas hi luxury thi ki koi unko hawa kar raha hai someone is you know standing beside them and uh, blowing air for them right it was a luxury for kings right just few years ago not very long ago 50 70 years ago right and now you have electricity you have a fan you just press the button and it starts rotating i'm not even talking about ac i'm just talking about fan which every one of us have but do we feel very happy about it no why can't you compare yourself with the king 50 years ago which was not having a fan like this no because it is relative you will see people around you and you will see array he has a better fan array he has one ac array he has three acs getting the point even happiness is relative right so something which cannot be measured that is also relative so obviously the competitive exams everything in competitive exams basically is relative marks as such is absolute but rank what you get that is also relative and the core thing your effort your preparation that is also relative whenever others are not preparing if in those times if in those months if in those weeks or days you prepare you are getting relatively ahead of them that's the funda behind competition if it is some festival everyone is enjoying everyone is having their time and just uh, you know not preparing that's the time that's the time when you can get the relative edge you can get ahead right by being focused on preparation the month again i am coming to the month of april the month when majority of the students either they think ki are there is a lot of time ek saal hai bhi to some students think that are college semesters are going on next month some think college semesters are over yaar let's relax for some time then we will prepare all these aspirants you can get ahead of them you can get a relative uh, you know edge to all these students by being proactive and starting full fledged preparation in april even if you have bought the course in march even if you have bought the course in feb right but 
This is the time when you should not lag behind. This is the time to be relatively ahead in preparation. That's very important to realize. To have a relative benefit in rank, to be relatively ahead of others in the result, you need to be relatively ahead of others in preparation also. Right? When preparing, if you are not relatively ahead, if you are not working, if you are not you know, preparing, when others are not preparing, you are wasting it. It's a golden chance that you are wasting. I'll just say that. At least when I was an aspirant, I made sure that I don't miss any such thing. Holidays, any festivals, anything. When no one is preparing, very less students are preparing. This is your chance. Get the relative edge. Those extra hours, those extra days, weeks, months, they can get you in a way better rank, in a way better spot if you value them and use them correctly, which is very much true for the month of April. Everyone prepares yeah, in December, January, November, everyone prepares. This is the time when those who are, who have long vision, right, who are determined, they only they prepare. So if you want to be amongst them, no matter if you join the course in March or Feb or you are planning to join the course, the time has come to start the preparation. And now coming to the next question which many of you have asked, that sir, which course to enroll for? Because there are different variants of the video courses available in Exergic, so which will be better suited for them? I'll give you very simple advice here, which you can use to take the quick decision. If you are someone who has completed the syllabus, if you are someone who has gone through the syllabus once conceptually, whatever method you have used, if you feel you have once gone through the syllabus and you don't need to go through the theoretical, theoretical part, conceptual, theoretical explanations again, then simply go for Exergic Pro. The content, full-fledged content for Exergic Pro is going to start from this week. So simple advice, whether you have, you know, you, you are a repeater, whether you are fresher, but maybe you have covered the syllabus, whether maybe you have enrolled somewhere else. There are many students like this who say that, sir, you don't have any ad, any marketing. We didn't know about Exergic. Now I have enrolled there, here, somewhere else. Sir, what to do? Even for those aspirants, I wholeheartedly recommend Exergic Pro. Even for those of you who are doing self-study, for example, All India Rank 1 this year. He was a student of self-study. He theoretical part he covered himself using the, uh, he was from IIT Bhuvaneshwar. So from the professors that used to teach him in the class, right? But for the numerical part, he took Exergic Pro. That's what you need to understand. That if you have gone through this syllabus once, go for Exergic Pro. Or if you already have some other course, you have enrolled somewhere else, still you want to take the benefit of Exergic, go for Exergic Pro. Simple advice. But for those of you who want to do comprehensive preparation, who want to start everything from scratch, from basics, every explanation, every concept, every formula from basics and obviously covering the numerical part also, simply go for full video courses. And I have one uh, important information at this point of time also for all of you that uh, there's some... Uh, discount going on on one year video course only on one year video course right at this point of time so this is the best time to go for that course and there are three variants again of one year course video course video course plus exergic one there are many big and small differences between them so obviously you can visit the website you can take the help of our counselors to discuss with them what is going to be best for you but the point here is that if you have planned to start the gate preparation, even if you enrolled last month, because in March also many of you enrolled, Feb also many of you enrolled. But if you have planned to start gate preparation, you have joined a course or have not joined a course, whatever is your situation, this month you cannot afford to waste. Start the preparation, get into the full-fledged preparation mode. Don't think that you have 10 months think that you have to cover the finish the syllabus by two to three months before gate right by the month of November by the month of early December keep that in mind you have just eight months seven eight months in hand go for it I wish you all the best